Hi guys, Derek here with The Closet Docker, and we've been working on our new shop this week, and is what we've been putting in is airlines. And so this video is really a how to uh, put airlines in your shop, what airlines to use. Let me show you a couple of the options that are out there, why I don't like some of them, and why I feel what we went with is the best. So 18 years ago, we built our first shop. We used just uh, Schedule 40, three quarter inch PVC, cut it, glued it together, put it on the wall with zip ties and straps. Uh, cheap, fast, and economical. What we found out is down the road, we started to get a lot of leaks at the fittings. And the other thing that we found is that uh, under pressure, this stuff is very brittle. And when it cracks and breaks, it doesn't just crack, it explodes. And so you can see pieces like this, uh, very sharp edges, and it sends out shrapnel like this through the air. I didn't really think it was a big deal at first. And then I had a guy in my shop who pointed out that how dangerous it was. And I said, hey, what's the chances of that happening? He goes, well, I got a guy from high school that it happened to. Piece of shrapnel, a pipe exploded, piece of shrapnel hit him in the neck, causing a, a, a very bad cut. And he ended up bleeding to death in his, in his cabinet shop. PVC pipe is not an option for you. I don't recommend it. Another option out there, I've heard people talk about, there was some of this in this shop is just iron pipe. It goes together with threaded connections. The problem is you can see inside of here is it's got, uh, you get water, you know, you get moisture in your airlines, you're gonna have uh, condensation in there that's gonna cause rust and corrosion. You don't want that stuff running through your machines. Quite expensive. You gotta twist everything together, tighten it up, put pipe thread on it. When you cut these to length, if you, need, you don't have a standard size, you need to cut it to length, you also have to thread the end. So not really a good solution, a lot of work fairly pricey. The other one, we had a little bit of this stuff in there. This is copper. Copper is a great option. Uh, you can assemble it. You can do solder together connections, or you can utilize, uh, they've got a lot of shark bite options for that, that makes it uh, the way you can, you can move it without having to, to use a torch. Uh, downside of this right now, copper is ridiculously expensive. And so it's just not economical as well as it's not really a, a system, it's a system designed for water, not air. And so there's a lot of fittings to make things work that you need to do uh, to acquire to make it all happen. So is what we went with in our previous shop. We actually took it out of our shop when we had uh, our, our smoke damage, we took it out. We put most of it in our temporary facility and then we put a bunch of it up here is the blue uh, airline pipe. Okay, here is what we're looking at with the blue type. Uh, blue piping type. There, there's two types and I, one of them is called AirNet and the other is Rapid Air. Uh, I've found that both uh, the pipe is interchangeable between both. They do have different fittings. So uh, we're using um, one inch and three quarter inch pipe and it's in metric when is your exterior diameter 17 on the inside and then the other pipe will have you know a little bit larger sizing there so it is metric and this is this is designed for air handling so the difference between the two the pipe is the same is the type of fittings so all of your fittings uh is what they've got inside of them is they've got multiple parts that so when you tighten it up it's got an o-ring and a flange and a thingamajiggy and a whatchamacallit and when you tighten this down it seals it up and there's no air. It's pretty much toolless. They give you a little wrench to tighten these, but if you get, you get big strong hands, you can tighten up and you don't have to worry about it. The great thing about it is you can install it with, with no tools. If you like this video, please take a moment below and like and subscribe. Get updates on future videos that I've got coming out. Here's the difference between the fittings. Uh, this one here, these are the ones I got off of Amazon. They also have a website. I believe these are the Rapid Air ones, but you can confirm that name on your own. Is when you unscrew this fitting here, these parts are loose within there. So it'll, if it's not on a piece of pipe, you'll unscrew it and all of those will fall out. You do have to kind of line uh, this tab up with this notch. And then this, you know, this guy here, you put the o-ring on the pipe and this is going to slide into the pipe and then you tighten it down the nice thing about these fitting here is that on the interior of it there's a there's a little bevel you can't really see it there but when you unscrew these all all of that stuff that's in there it's got a similar type setup all of that stuff that's in there is contained within that fitting and doesn't fall out unless you knock it out 
uh, you know, it, it takes physical effort to do it. It won't just happen when it unscrews. So that's the pipe system. Uh, they also, this fitting company here also makes a really nice one. So it's got four ports on it that you can put air nozzles. It comes as a, this comes as a kit. It's all ready to drop in and tighten up. And then it comes with two plugs so you can put two in or you could put four fittings there. What I really like on this one are the drains or a nice large drain. And it is at the low point. Uh, the other brand I've got at the other shop, I don't have one here, has got a small screw out drain and it's right level with all of these connections. And so, you know, in this scenario here, you get a little bit of water in here, you'll be able to drain it out uh, without it necessarily filling your, your lines from your higher points. And that's been a little bit of an issue. We're gonna solve that water. I'll show you that in another video, how we're solving all of that. But so that's your setup. Cut this, you're like, they recommend that you cut it with a uh, tubing cutter. But uh, we, we've been cutting it with a chop, uh, a chop saw. And then they include in the kits, they include this guy right here. So that's a reamer, it goes in. And you can see here, it goes in and you turn it and it, and it cleans the inside. You come out and clean the outside. You don't want any burrs on there. It slides together. The last thing I'll show you is how we installed it. So for wall mounting this, uh, this type of pipe, they come, uh, both companies that uh, I've got, they have an integrated clamp basically. And is what it's got, it's got a hole through it that holds it and you can see it holds it out off of the wall and these go on the wall. So we got a concrete wall here. We, we drilled it with a roto hammer with a, a quarter inch bit, put an insert in and it, that holds it in place. And then your pipe just drops in, kind of snaps into place on the holder and then it has a, a plastic clip. So once it's up on the wall, that one's clipped in there, it's, it's nice and secure. You don't need a whole ton of these. It doesn't weigh a lot. It's nice and easy to install on the wall as well as on the ceiling. So let's go over, we're gonna hop on the lift and I'm gonna show you what we did there. So hanging these, we're up on the lift now, we're up by our ceiling. Now, one option that you can do to hang it, and I don't recommend this at all, is you can just use some bailing wire and just wrap it around your pipe like this. That's not the way to do this stuff. So I did, I was trying to figure out how to do it and I went to my go-to website that's got all kinds of good stuff on McMaster Car. And I realized that other people have done this before. They make a self-tapping bolt that has a nut on it that you can put in with an impact and then it has a threaded nut in there. And that allows you to take a piece of uh, all thread or threaded rod and screw it into that. And then on, you can take the same connector that we've got that we're mounting the pipe on the wall, put a, a nut on there. And we used a nylock nut so it doesn't come loose over time and fall off. And now you've got a complete hanger system. Uh, our steel up here was a little bit thick and we were, we were struggling a little bit with this. So is what we're doing is we just pre-drilled it. So I'll put my safety glasses on because we got metal shavings. Come up with a drill. Pre-drill our hole. Like I said, the self-tapper worked for that. It just took a while and we had a few of them that didn't quite make it through and broke the cutter off. And then we just put the cutter in. If you're doing this, go buy a good nut driver. Don't try to use a socket. It's got a nice magnet, it holds it tight and works really, really good. But now that we've got our bolt in here, we just take our hanger, I've already got enough, and it just screws right in to that holder. So this is one completed run of pipe. We've still got to come back and put some fittings on. But the nice thing about the all thread is buy it in the length that you need. Don't buy long ones and cut it. It just makes it nice and easy. And that way your pipe hangs nice and level or at least even down off of the ceiling. And it works really, really good. So that's about it for the blue air pipe installation. Uh, like I said, very simple, easy. Uh, some of the things can be a little bit pricey. The best price I found on it if you're doing a smaller system is just order a kit off of Amazon. It's about half the price of ordering it through the company's website. Uh, if you're doing a larger installation, they have a, a system online that you can submit your plans and they will design a system for you, tell you how much stuff that you're gonna need, 
and ship it out to you. One of the other benefits of buying from them versus the Amazon, and it's the same stuff off of Amazon, but the benefit is they'll ship it via truck and you will have full length 20 foot pieces of pipe versus on Amazon, you get about a seven and a half foot pipe, which means you've got to make more connections. So in a larger, you know, in a larger setup, you can spend a little bit more money on connectors. So that's what I've got you today for Blue Air Pipe. Good luck uh, with everything in your own shop.